Hello guys, this just came in the door uh, a couple of hours ago and I just unpacked it. I have um, opened it and looked at it, but I have not taken it out of the case yet. And as you can see, it comes in a nice transport case, very sturdy. Ta-da, it's a drone. Now, some of you might ask, uh, why another drone? Those of you who know my channel are uh, aware that I have a room full of different types of drones, and some of them are much bigger and advanced than this. So why did I get this drone? Well, the answer is, uh, this drone came out uh, less than a year ago, and as far as I know, is one of the only uh, fully waterproof drones. Uh, for the others that also know my channel, know that I boat a bit and I was looking for a drone that could uh, offer some special uh, abilities and uh, this drone seems to fit the bill. I'll take you through the uh, drone uh, features one at a time, but um, like I said, i just pack it out for the first time. It's nicely strapped in the case. And uh, according to the manual, the drone itself weighs, oh, looks quite good, weighs about 530 grams. And the battery weighs about 220. So that will give a total of about uh, 750 grams. This appears to be the lid for the drone over the battery case. It comes with its own charger. As I can see, it's not one of the fast chargers, it's the slow charger. Uh, that explains why they said charging time for the battery is 70 minutes. It gives a flat time of about uh, 15 to 17 minutes. That is enough. It comes with, uh, for the purpose I want to use it, that time is enough. It comes with its radio, nice aluminium handle behind. This screen, sh they say, shows information from the drone and uh, FPV from the camera in front of the drone so you can regulate your shots. The radio is also fully waterproof and two antennas, one 2.4 gigahertz and the other antenna is 5.8 gigahertz for the video feed. Now, the special thing with this drone, apart from it being waterproof, is that it has a camera in this glass box. The camera can be controlled from the radio to look up and down, depending on what uh, uh, picture angle you want. And it is capable of returning to home. Now, you might say a lot of drones have that function, but home in this case is where the controller is. So, on a practical uh, a vessel like a boat where I'm constantly in motion, a normal drone will return to the last place it took off, the GPS coordinates. But in this case, this radio sender has a GPS receiver that constantly sends GPS coordinates to the drone. So the drone will go back and land where the controller is. So even if my boat is moving, that reduces the chances of me missing my uh, drone. Secondly, um, it is capable of some functions like a follow me function. So if I set it while I'm fishing or if I'm just uh, uh, doing some water sport and I set the drone to a particular angle, uh, hoovering over and taking some good uh, footage of the boat, even though I'm sailing, it follows the controller as I move. And it has a function that they call the orbit mode where the drone goes round the controller at a preset distance and keeps on its, its, its orientation with the camera pointing forward and it can continue taking uh, video shots uh, while it is in motion. Uh, the specifications say 64 giga, uh, gigabytes of um, space for video. That's more than enough I need. It has a Sony CMOS uh, camera. They say up to 4K 
resolution and uh, I can't remember if it was 12 or 16 uh, uh, megabytes of, of, of megapixels, sorry, of quality. The battery itself is a 2S uh, 2000 milliampere and that's what gives the flight time of 15 to 17 minutes. I don't know, you probably will be able to buy some upgraded batteries, but um, uh, 15 minutes is more than enough to make shots from myself. Well, it's uh, ready to run all you can use kit, sturdy, packed. Oh, I can see there's some stuff here. I don't know what it is. Looks like some cables. Ah, it's because uh, I guess these are the cables to transfer the video content. Uh, I guess that's what it is, and probably to charge the controller and a few tools and nuts uh, for changing the propellers and extra propellers, of course. So it's not it's not a bad set for a complete water-resistant drone with. Uh, GPS and quite advanced uh, features. I must say it feels quite solid. So the, the the quality is 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 impressive. Well, I'm looking forward to testing it in the field, and of course you'll get some videos on the channel about it. Stay tuned. Remember to subscribe, click the notification button, and thanks for watching, guys.